Okay, so when Case announced their vault knife for this year, 2021, uh, at first I wasn't super excited because I was really hoping it was going to be a Granddaddy or Daddy Barlow or something else cool like a large toothpick or the like elephant toenail or sunfish. Uh, what it is is this copperhead here. Um, so I did have to order one because, you know, I've kind of been collecting the vault knives uh, since the Barlow. Uh, last year's The Pocket Hunter I wasn't super excited about. I wasn't that excited about this one until I got it, and now I can say that I really like this knife, and I have another one on the way already, and I'm probably going to wait until there's the there's a red jig bone one with CV also that is supposed to be coming out sometime in March, I think. So I'm probably going to order that one at some point as well. This is the Amber Peach Seed, peach seed Jig Bone uh, CV, as you'll be able to tell by the uh, patina on that blade there. Um, it does rub the liner quite, quite substantially. I haven't been able to fix that, um, and I have tried. But yeah, uh, it's such a good knife like as far as just being like about the perfect size and I really love this uh, clip blade here that even though the blades rubbing quite quite a lot on the liner it hasn't really um, affected my carrying of the knife I've just been carrying it uh, pretty much since I got it there was one night where it wasn't in my pocket and I had a different knife in my pocket but other than that, since I got this, I think I've carried it like four nights now. Um, and it's just a really uh, good knife. The action on mine is pretty good. Um, it did have a little bit of side-to-side -side play, so I did my normal thing that I do. And, you know, the pivot pin sticking out a little bit now because of that. Um, but the action was pretty good. Um, I do like the uh, covers. This side looks awesome, and I really wish both sides look like that, but they don't. Um, that's just something you kind of got to deal with with Case. A lot of the times, the covers don't match each other. Um, but yeah, you get this, like, I don't know, three, three inch, about three inch clip point blade. And you get this fairly substantial uh, pen blade here that's about uh, two and a quarter inches. Um, both have half stops, and I mean, I just really like the way the knife feels in my hand, so. Like I said, I got another one of these on the way. That's going to be a, uh, bone stag, which means, of course, it's going to have the stainless steel, because, unfortunately, Case doesn't seem to ever want to make a bone stag cover material with the chrome vanadium blades, um, which I think is a shame because that's what I would want in an ideal world. But I've been wanting to try out the Bone Stag cover hand cover material, so I'm hoping that my Copperhead that I have coming with the Bone Stag doesn't have this uh, issue here. And I'm trying to figure out if this blade is actually bent or if it's just that bad off center or possibly even just ground kind of weird because like from here it looks bent like I think but like when I have it open it's really hard to tell if it's bent or not so I don't know if it's bent slightly or if it's ground weird or if it's just or if it's just off center I mean it's definitely off center like, you can tell, like, the whole blade is cocked off to that side. But then, like, it does something weird down here with the tip that almost makes me think that they just ground more off of this side and then didn't grind this side or something. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell what I'm talking about. But that's what it looks like to me. But I don't know. Um, In any case, even though this has quite a bit of... uh centering issue and is completely rubbing the line are pretty bad um this knife is so good that i've been carrying it for like four nights so really like this knife I'm, like i said i got another one on the way 
probably going to order at least one more, if not a couple more. It, it, we'll just see. Um, but yeah, so this is Cases 2021 uh, Volt Pattern Knife, and I am way more excited about it than I thought I was going to be. All right, that's going to be it for this video.